fuck, Ray. What? You owe me 120 bucks. Oh, yeah. I forgot. To tell you the truth, your whole drug thing makes me uneasy. Oh. Don't go soft on me, Fesco. Nah, I mean it, Ray. I like you. I missed you. And that shit at the beginning of the summer really scared me. Yeah, you and everyone else. I'm not being flip, Ray. I've been in the drug game for six years, and I've seen a bunch of people die, but none like you. I don't know what the fuck you got going on inside of you, and I don't know how to fix it. But trust me, this shit ain't the answer. I remember when I was 11 years old, a month or two after my dad got diagnosed. And we got the results from the prognosis. Things were looking pretty good, like 80-20. So we had a little celebration, ordered a ton of Chinese food. And later that night, I remember being in my parents' bed between them and we were watching a Seinfeld rerun. All of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. It was like the world wasn't filled with oxygen. I was gasping, panicking, and they called an ambulance. They said I had an allergic reaction. So when I got to the hospital, they gave me liquid volume to calm me down. And I remember the moment it hit me. I thought, oh shit. This is what I've been searching for my entire life. For as long as I can remember. Because suddenly the world went quiet and I felt safe in my own mind. And two years later, he was gone. My panic attack stayed, but I found a way to live. And will it eventually kill me? Yeah, probably. So you still gonna be my dealer, Fesco? You're a fucking trip, Ray. And I'm way too high for this conversation. <sighs> me too.